he was young, he was trained at one of the best uh, uh, German-speaking universities in the world. It was in uh, Switzerland. And then he spent a few years sort of in isolation, thinking really hard about these problems. He didn't get anywhere, but he was thinking about them, he was rolling over them in his head. You know, sometimes like you've been rolling over a problem, even if it's a trivial problem, you step in the shower or you're taking the tube or something, and instantly, mm -hmm. instantly you get the answer. Yeah. Clearly your brain was cogitating and briefly the door opens. That's what happened to Einstein in 1905. He, he had been well trained and then he had been, he had been pulled away from the fire for a while, being on his own. And then he knew he had to put it together in 1905, a door opened. Another thing that helped him write the papers when he was working those long hours in Switzerland was what I call the getting ready for the airport effect. If you know you're going to the airport later in the evening, you'll spend the day putzing, at least if you're like me. And if you wake up too late and you have to get to the airport in 32 minutes, you can't do it. It's not possible. But if you wake up maybe an hour after your alarm should have gone off and you say, oh, I got to pack fast, you'll do it. All the self-consciousness and the second guessing you would have done disappears. That's one reason that people often do uh, well on, students will often leave to, uh, things till deadline. And people at an office often like leaving things not quite to the last minute, but they are doing it just before they go home. Another thing that helps is if you don't have the pressure to be perfect. Uh, uh, informally, writing, uh, writing things informally on envelopes is really good. Working quietly in the evening when, well, you can maybe spend another half hour, you, you can redo it. When Einstein came up with these ideas in 1905, nobody knew what he was doing. Nobody was watching him, nobody was checking, nobody was second guessing. If something didn't work, he could put it to the side. Uh, too little pressure can make you vague. Mm -hmm. Too much pressure makes you only do what people expect of you.